All right, guys, I'm sorry if you can't hear my voice very well. I'm laying down on bed. Um, I'm, this is going to be low quality just because it takes a while to put the software back on my laptop. Uh, yes, I had a black screen of death, which I've had on a couple computers, so I'm assuming that what happened was um, some kind of hack got through on the computers and... Windows doesn't know exactly how to fix a black screen of death with a loading cursor. Now what this is, is the hard drive is not booting up correctly, and the only way that I have solved this when this happens to you, um, you can try to use the Windows XP boot up disk, and you can try to check your disk. Um, you can also try to fix the um, master boot sector, you can try to fix boot. I've tried all these things. You can try to replace the boot.ini and some other sh stuff. I tried a lot of stuff, and I'm going to tell you, it, none of that shit worked. Um, whatever happens bef before Windows, something gets changed, and the hard drive is not getting changed properly. What that probably means is you're using Windows to try to change it, and it doesn't change the section that got changed previously. So... Um, what I had to do was erase the drive to remove the boot sector, which is probably a virus that infected, um, and reinstall Windows XP. And so that worked. I'm sorry if you can't hear me very well. Turn up your audio. I noticed the microphone on this sucks. And I will record some other videos. But I thought I would just put this out there for the guys that need a solution to know why they get the black screen of death, the blinking cursor that just never loads to their hard drive that gets them into Windows. They can try safe mode, everything, nothing will work in this case. If they've got the boot sector virus that I'm talking about, I'm sorry guys, you can spin all night and all day. Now this is why I run my C drive on a 10 or 20 gig. Now if this shit happens, I just format it, my drivers are on my D drive, I don't give a shit, it doesn't screw me over. Um, it took me maybe 45 minutes to an hour to reinstall everything. And, you know, that's what something I can do while watching TV or doing something else. But um, I'm sorry this is the really only working solution that I have found, and I've been looking for the whole day. Um, it is a working solution. You will need a boot up Windows disk. You will need kill disk. You will need to, if you need to. Sometimes you can just reinstall Windows, but I would erase, delete the partition, and then... Uh, set the partition back up, uh, format it, the hard drive, and then reinstall Windows. And if that doesn't work, you're going to have to kill disk it. I'm sorry. Um, I hope somebody found this uh, helpful. If you need any help, just go ahead and message me, and I can give you the best help you need. Because obviously I figured it out in just two under two hours. Um, other people... They may have suffered through all this stuff, but like I said, I figured it out, and I tried numerous things because I didn't want to do that, but that was the only thing that worked. 